Suddenly guys, I'm obsessed with the beach. I don't know what it is about this year, but I can't get enough of it. So I'm telling you my beach essentials and I'm telling you my favorite post beach products. Welcome to my channel. My name is Brittany. If you're new, please subscribe. I make tons of content every single week. Would really appreciate it. 95% of you who watch my videos aren't subscribed, so I'd appreciate it if you hit that button and stick around. Today we are barefaced in our PJs because we're going to the beach today. So I thought I would give you the rundown on my beach bag essentials, everything that I bring to go to have a successful beach day. Guys, if this isn't obvious, the bikini, the swimsuit, the one piece, whatever you're wearing, the tankini, tankini seems to be coming back for a reason. You gotta find a swimsuit that you feel comfortable and confident in. These are all of my bikinis, so many. Target, I think I said that already. For the total, this swimsuit was only like $30, perfect. Although I will say Target is not the most size inclusive. I gotta be honest, I got the largest size that they have. Here is the Target swimsuit on. I like the top because it has a cross in the back so it helps add more support. And then I just really like how the bottoms lay on me. So I'm happy with the swimsuit, so you guys should be happy too. Cover-ups, okay. Honestly, people say that you need like a traditional cover-up. I don't think that's the case. I think you can go for whatever you want. I do have a traditional cover-up. I have one that is like supposed to be like a linen romper, but I never wear it. So I wear it as a beach cover-up because linen is really great for the beach. And then I have these like linen style pants that I just got from Cotton On. I think they're called the paradise pants they're pink but I just want to wear pants with my outfit because I really really like this pattern and I feel like this will really show it off I've never worn these pants so I think this is a great opportunity to do so also comfortable beach walking shoes okay a lot of people do flip-flops I never liked flip-flops I don't like the tong feeling so I wear uh, Birkenstocks the waterproof ones they are perfect they do the job I love all our fans. Thank you guys for coming. Come on, sunscreen. We Literally, if you're not wearing sunscreen in 2021, I don't know what you are doing. These are my main ones that I bring to the beach with me every single time. I just have this mesh zip-up pouch, which is really perfect because it doesn't trap sand or anything in it. It just falls right out. I'll show you guys my top two sunscreens that I love to death. These are my absolute favorite. First is the Coppertone Sport 50. It's perfect. It stays on much longer than any others and 50 is the perfect amount for me where I'm still getting a really good amount of color and it makes me really happy. Don't show that. <laughs> and then I love Sunbum. Um, this is SPF 30. I do reapply this one if I end up using this one and um, what about it? It's good. <laughs> a lot of people forget this SPF chapstick. This is SPF 30. I'll put this on right now. These are the main bags that I use. This is the one I typically use. I cannot, for the life of me, remember where I got this from. I think I got it in Europe, but I can't be certain. I will link a dupe down below, something really similar. This one is just huge. It's really big. It has a zipper, but I never use it. Oh, there's a ton of sand in here. <laughs> um, but this one's just perfect. Like, it has the beach aesthetic and also can really hold a lot, which I really appreciate it. You want a nice, stable, sturdy beach bag. But I will say, a great alternative if you're not looking to do a traditional one, tote bags. This one I just painted myself recently with my friend Hannah who just visited. That vlog is up in case you want to watch it. Um, it just says take care of yourself and I put little fun strawberries. It was really fun to decorate myself. I need more bags. I need a cute tote bag. I'd like to design two. one. But totes just make a perfect beach bag. Look at that. Put my sunscreen in there. Perfect. Personally, I use a different sunscreen for my face. I really don't think it matters, but these are my three staple ones that I typically use. I use the CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion, which this one I use for daily under makeup. I have the Paula's Choice Essential Glow Moisturizer, which I'll typically use if I'm just chilling in the backyard kind of day style. My favorite that I use most of the time is the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. <laughs> Literally wiped all the way off, but it's SPF 40. This one is the highest of the others. Judge me if you will. I know I just put sunscreen on my face, but I think it's really important to bring a beach hat. My favorite is bucket style. This is just gonna keep you protected. I understand wanting 
sun on your face i love to get mine too but sometimes it's just too much like i don't want too much sun exposure just a little bit that's why the hat is perfect because then it will protect you and then also like i like it when i'm laying down on my stomach because then i just use this to like hide the sun because i don't want to get half of my face color you know guys towels towels are an essential i think you need two i think two is the perfect amount this one is a circle towel i think from sand cloud i could be wrong again i will link a dupe down below i'll link everything down below um and then a regular square towel you just need one for the ground and then i think you need one for like rubbing off sand drying off from the water all that kind of stuff and then i know not everyone feels the need for it but if you're an avid beach goer i think a beach chair is worth it honestly i got mine last year hey hi it's just <laughs> laying flat on the ground is not always the most ideal situation like and i just like the chair because i feel more upright also plenty of hydration and plenty of snacks i tend to bring a water bottle and then two additional like plastic bottles just because really you can't have enough water you don't want to be dehydrated at the beach and i pack some snacks usually i'll head to wawa that is like the local convenience store in jersey if you know then you know <laughs> veggie sandwich with a beyond sausage i literally almost forgot the most important thing music if you're going with someone else sometimes headphones aren't the best option like sometimes you might need a speaker my family has a really big fat one but amazon has some great affordable options i think that anything under a hundred dollars for a speaker is really great because speakers are meant to be durable and last great thing is too amazon has a 30-day policy um but i'm sure you can get warranties and like coverage on the speakers to make sure that they last if you're not a music person a book i've mentioned this book before i'm trying to read this book blowing my way to the top by john atkin I always bring it to the beach and then I never end up reading it because I'm just kind of like an ocean listener kind of person. Um, but it's all again like personal preference, you know, so. When I leave the beach, I like to put on a cool down lotion, really extra, but I think it helps soothe the sunburn from getting worse. Just my personal opinion. I do a post lotion from the shower. It's a wet skin one, so you put it on when your skin's wet, you towel dry, no residue, and it helps give you an extra glow. I've gone to the beach like seven times this year so far. So happy. I feel like I just look glowy. What do you guys think? Do I look glowy? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to the slowest growing YouTube channel. See you guys in the next video. Maybe it'll be another beach vlog. Who knows? <laughs>